Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Capital. And this is a continuation of the big boat as it floats down the Detroit River. Uh, this is Delray Park in the shadows of the new Gordie Howe International Bridge. But I was checking the bridge out and this big boat came by and it's like, okay, it's going to be like a two-for-one combo shot here. But, yeah, it's nice with these big Great Lakes freighters. Man, and it just clears underneath the bridge. I don't know how they figured that. They just left enough room. But, uh, yeah, big boats are cool. I like planes, trains, and, and big boats, the larger-than-life type things. And even like the bridge, I don't know why it doesn't get more press. But this is like a, a big monster infrastructure project that we have in the Detroit area and I hardly see any stories in the news on this. Channel 7 did have one thing where they had a time lapse. I was lucky to catch that. But I haven't seen it on the other networks. It's kind of like, you know, the sports stadiums when they were building Comerica Park and Ford Field. They seemed to cover that a whole lot more, but this is pretty cool. As a kid, th this stuff is kind of fascinating. And it, you don't have to be a kid. You can be a grown-up, too. Here uh, some parents have their youngins. This is an active place for fishermen and fisherwomen or fisher people. I don't know what the... Oh, and another boat coming the other way. Boy, my timing was was good on this particular day. Plus, well, this was... Uh, a Sunday afternoon and a lot of pleasure craft out there and then other people doing the the fishing thing Detroit River you know a lot of times has a little chop to it this one's plowing ahead there pushing away the water as it heads upstream yeah I asked a few people how the fishing was and they kind of said well not so good but I don't know. It's just with people fishing. I don't know if it's all about necessarily like catching fish. It's kind of part of it, I think, is just being outdoors, and getting a little sun, commiserating with some other people, watching the action down by the river. I need to find a friend that has a boat like that, and I can just pay for gas money or something and just say, hey, take me out for a spin years ago I, I did have a neighbor that uh, took me out on the river it was pretty cool yeah a lot to see when you do the Detroit River action but boats are expensive you know not only paying for the boat and the insurance and the dock fees and the gas and the all the number of things it's but it's something I, I think it was a while ago, maybe it's changed, but Michigan had the most registered boats in the nation. Is, or, or second, I don't know, you would think California would have more, but or Florida. There's some huge big boats in Florida. God, this boat needs a paint job. It's kind of a little rusty there. Uh, but yeah, Michigan has a lot of the smaller boats, the pleasure craft. Here we're just north of Zug Island. Zug Island is a nice resort area. We need to promote that and make that act so uh, active tourism. I don't know, it hasn't appeared in any pure Michigan ads yet. This is the plaza for the new bridge across the way, just north of Jefferson. Uh, so I'm going to spin just a little bit through the neighborhood some emergency action at Southfield and Jefferson this is John D Dingle Park they got a Coney Island nearby a dip net live bait and tackle and um, yeah the fishing place was open I like that neon sign 
home of the original Dirty Larry, and then a Scary Larry. I don't know what that's all about, but this is interesting. This is the only one I'm aware of, but it's a vending machine for fishing supplies, so 24-hour bait and tackle center, yeah. So, and you get worms here on the lower level. These are Canadian night crawlers. They're probably better than American ones. I don't know. They ship them in from Canada. Lions Boulevard, yeah. Lions fan. I'm on the bandwagon this year. I just decided now's a good time to jump on that bandwagon. Pablo Boat, we don't have that anymore. Captain Morgan, I know this guy. Oh, yeah. It's, I think this is called the Lighthouse Pub. But uh, I was just here for a spell, and I was monitoring the action uh, on the Detroit River, just checking every now and then for boats. I thought maybe I'd get lucky again, see a big boat float by. But uh, we have the hazy sunshine now, too. They had those fires in Alberta and British Columbia. They're probably still burning, but, yeah, kind of makes things hazy. Look at this, coming soon, closed for remodeling, but a Puerto Rican family, because uh, that's the Puerto Rican flag right there. But yeah, this place was for sale, and so they bought it. It was in a past, before it got repurposed, it was an uh, ice cream shop. So uh, they're going to make it a carry-out restaurant. I'll get a closer look at that sign, but that's Mud Island over there. I love the shape of this tree. That's like a full canopy tree right there. And then a car in front of it, bright red. What a picture. But this is a nice, beautiful park. And well used here, certainly on a Sunday. And parks are, are good. Green spaces rock. Uh, people like to just get out a little bit. And people are fishing over here, too. Uh, we're starting to value the river a little bit more, especially in Detroit. That riverfront walkway is terrific. All right, there's that. The, some of the sunsets really are crazy with that. those fires. It kind of makes things a different color. All right, we're all proud to be American for sure. Memorial Day, well, by the time this airs, it's after Memorial Day weekend, but there's always... Something to be proud of, most definitely. Here they're honoring the World War II uh, people that lost their lives. Uh, Detroit Institute of Arts, they have these like little pocket things, or what do they call it? Uh, but they display artwork through multiple cities and whatnot. Here's another one here. I like this one. Apparently they're like weatherproof, so that's kind of neat. But I'd like to say art is everywhere, and it certainly is. Here, and then I, I like when people take the spin through here and, and go around Mud Island so people can see them on their pleasure craft. It's, it's good people watching, good boat watching. Uh, it's, it's just fun to see people out and about. You know, the, here we go. Uh, on the bottom, it says Mud Island. Nobody, it's not inhabited by anybody. It's just, uh, just wildlife inhabits, inhabits the place. But uh, anyways, yeah, it's just good to, uh, to see people, you know, here, there, and everywhere. I mean, with the COVID thing, God, man, did that kick a lot of people in the butt, including me. It's so good to have some semblance of normalcy and things getting back to a kind of a regular pattern. Here are active rail lines going here, just go under, the trains have the right of way. So you go under them there, but, oh wow, I was running a few errands here. This is my empty thing, that's $2 now, the returnables, so Ferris Bueller's day off. This is where I come, to the Calder Dairy. This is a great local spot hangout, quite popular. They have an ice cream shop in the back but I have to get my um, chocolate crack, basically, is what it is. They got these great doors, so yeah, they store them in there, so I need a refill. And there I go, that's my new bottle. 
Oh, and then, yeah, these are like little motor scooters, kind of in between a motorcycle and like a scooter, but they, uh, they look like they'd be fun to cruise around with. All right, heading for home. I got to turn my red light district neon light. Oh, geez, yeah, stop the Republican war on women. Boy, they just don't give up. All right, well, I couldn't wait. Here we go. Going to open this puppy up. Mm, mm, I am so ready, and I'm just going to drink it straight here, not even diluted. A lot of times I dilute it, and it's good to the last drop, too, but, oh. I lost a drop there. Here, I'll vouch for this place. This is in Dearborn, um, south of Michigan Avenue, Hong Kong. Uh, they have great food. Uh, the combination plate. I do number 19. It's um, officially known as beef, pea pods, and mushrooms. 10 bucks, but I think the price went up 50 cents, so it's 10.50 plus tax. So... I got to, uh, let's see, I got to make sure I reset the clock, make sure it's accurate. Okay, so here's what I, the flowers, I, the hanging basket. I bought this hanging basket. Uh, Marty approves of it. That's my bear. And I planted some little small flowers in the flower bed, but the squirrels keep digging it up. But yeah, this is what I got at the flower day at Eastern Market. That was earlier in the day on Sunday. This is a continuation of that footage earlier in the day. And I'm going to hang it up there. I already have the hook in place. I'm good to go. So give it some nice water. It needs full sunshine, though, so I don't know hanging if it's going to get it. This is the north side of the street, and it's not going to get direct sunlight. But Marty will keep an eye on things. He'll tell me when it needs water or whatnot, and we'll take it from there. He's a great bear. He really is. I don't have any trouble with him. All right, well, I ordered the food, but now it's time to pick it up. This is where Hong Kong is, right next to Marshall's. It's in the Westbourne Plaza, and this is going to be the area where the Memorial Day parade's going to start. Off in the distance is the White Elephant Village Plaza. That's abandoned. And it's been abandoned since 2018. They have a demolition order to take it down, but I think that order's been appealed. So I don't know where it stands now. There's a post office in this plaza. I patronize that post office every now and then. But uh, And the, uh, Staples, I patronize them too. So anyways oh and then yeah here i love the camaro here this is a z28 i was just following this guy heading for home oh yeah that sucker's quick my ford focus couldn't keep up with that guy but yeah z28 i have an rsss but the Z28. Alright, so here I am in the city of Dearborn Heights. This is the trash container, but if I pop open the garage and turn on the light, I got my lawnmower, I got my rototiller, and then Beavis and Butthead. They're hanging out in, in my garage too, but yeah, this is my Camaro. I need to do something with this. It's an RSSS. The Rally Sport is the hideaway headlights. But, yeah, Royal Plum is the color, but it's a little dusty. I need to dust that off and get that in gear. But, yeah, a 67, that was the first year, and they had the round um, rearview mirrors. Yeah, a sweet car. I've only driven it for like a year before the engine blew up. Anyways, here's the dinner. Finally, I get to do the chow down. Yeah, so that's, I, got, I get two meals out of that all the time. All right, then I took a nap. And then, okay, I'm going to, this is going to be a short show, but this was uh, the day before they had the State of the City address in Dearborn. 
And so I wanted to check out by City Hall because there's going to be another pocket park or a peace park, they call it. But look at this. These are great billboards that they have, giving you some of the local history here. But Art Deco style, the Schaefer building here at the corner of Michigan and Schaefer on the northwest side, it was a stagecoach stop also. And uh, just to the west of that is the Arab American Museum. And I love the, um, well, the tiles there, I guess. And then some more tiles, but it's a beautiful building inside. I've gone there a couple times, but then here's the city hall. It used to be the city hall. It's been repurposed now. They don't have accurate time. That's unfortunate. Plus, they're not proud to be American for some reason. They always used to have a flag flying up top. I know it costs money for the flag, and then somebody has to put it up or take it down. I think maybe they had a light. You have to have it lit up at night uh, officially is the way you're supposed to do it. But all that costs money and maintenance, so I guess maybe they don't do it anymore. But it sure would be nice if they did fly the flag. Here's a QR code if you're quick with your phone. But here's a map of Dearborn, kind of like the city limits and everything. And I'm pointing to where the city hall is right there. And they're going to put a city park over here too. And uh, so this is like the midtown. And then this side over here would be like the west side or Westbourne. So I don't know. Village Plaza, you can see there, they have a shopping thing, but it's kind of like a, a black hole now. Nothing happening there at the Village Plaza. But 13615 Michigan Avenue is the address here, and it's the City Hall Art Space. And so artists and, and whatnot hang out there and do their thing. There used to be a Michigan historic sign here, but they took it down. I don't know if it was one talking about Orville Hubbard or not they moved Orville too here's a couple of ghost ads they took down a building and then exposed these ads here I'd love it like if Dearborn Federal Credit Union offered three and a half percent interest they should offer something they offer you a little end of the year bonus or whatnot but interest rates have gone up they should be able to start paying some kind of interest rate on your savings but oh well they need to make their money right city hall art space so 13615 that's officially what it is now and i wish they had like an art opening and display their wares there's a couple art shows i haven't heard of anything being advertised but maybe with this somewhere around here they're going to expand park it's one of the three park or one of the three peace parks that they're going to have d dot department detroit department of transportation the bus there is getting ready there's a home of seafood there and this is nice if you like riding your bike and you need to do a little quick repair or just pump some air in your tire you can do that there's a few wrenches and a few tools uh this is the area that the Rouge plant built. So, yeah, a lot of history. I'm just going through this real quick. But the Eastbourne area, this was Fortson neighborhood, and then it combined uh, with the west side and became Dearborn. Uh, they renamed it. So this, I'm going to show this a little bit later. This is the Hotel Fortson, and it had... Uh, it was in a lot of photographs, it said, for what, World War II? Kind of neat. It may have been like a boarding house. Now, here, Lily's, this place is closing, and I was looking for the steer up on top because I was a little confused if it was there, but actually it was on top of Ace Jewelers. Now, one thing with maintenance and whatnot with these flower beds, you can put them up, and they look nice from you know for that year but there's maintenance involved and uh you know some of these flowers have popped up they might be those uh perennials i guess but they those need to be maintained so dearborn will have to put something in their budget 
to have landscapers or gardeners or whatnot and you know maintain these uh, flower beds a lot of I love the architecture in a lot of these buildings here on Michigan Avenue some of them they're on a little bit of an angle the streets go because Michigan Avenue doesn't run necessarily east west so there's some, kind of some cute angles but this building I just love it's like the Garden of Eden uh, but I guess it's a bakery and grill officially but yeah that that one's just gorgeous I don't know if people live up top or what but that would be a cool place to to have an apartment or whatnot I don't know what this story is totally here like these people have flower beds uh, and this is run by a business here I think it's a furniture place and then we're seeing uh, more of these food trucks all over. That's a great way for these food places to start a business. And then they can go to brick and mortar if they're successful. Here's another uh, cute building. I love the masonry work, the brickwork. Classic. Antiques and vintage. So they've been here for a spell. And I was just doing some window shopping. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's like the 60s kind of thing. Some of these things are really cool. And love your local. So that's what you need to do. Support the local businesses. And Dearborn's a pretty cool city. I would like to spend a lot of time in Detroit and promoting Detroit. But I should, I should do more with Dearborn because Dearborn's got it going on too. And then got a young whippersnapper mayor. And going to turn things around, which would be great. So, yeah, more artwork. Let's do it get all these uh, businesses occupied or all these storefronts um, here uh, Batman hangs out over there Sinbad travel uh, sharp cuts yeah I'm just checking you, you know the flowers are great that uh, that adds a little color certainly to the neighborhood this was ace diamond I think and they had that black steer up top, but they took that that thing down. Bummer, that was kind of cool. Um, but I'm heading over to Lily's because I heard that they were going to close uh, at the end of June, I guess. So I wanted to take a peek and grab me a ham sandwich. So doing a little window thing here, and I see a bunch of little piggies. So, yeah, that's, and here's their menu. It's short and sweet and simple. You've got choice of two sandwiches, a choice of two soups. You have a little more variety on the pop, but they have an auxiliary uh, seating area over here. And they had a lot of, well, a lot of nice pictures. So I don't know if the owner wants to sell it and somebody continue on. There's the owner there. He was slicing up a sandwich. I love the adornments with all the piggies. That's kind of neat. That was before my time, Brick Stadium. I'm familiar with Tiger Stadium, which is very similar to that. But, yeah, that was back in the day. And then they have stuff with the Boblo Bolt. I wonder what they're going to do with all these pictures. I'd be curious to know. But you have till the end of June, I guess to check out this place I like the old school seats the the pale green color 55 years so that must have been Jim that I just saw there and uh, yeah he's I, I ended up with a sandwich he's slicing one up you can get the Verners that's like traditional Detroit so I got me a can it was two dollars every tax is included I like that so ten dollars and then two dollars twelve dollars you don't have to worry about the tax that's what the sandwich looks like. You get a slice of ham on the top. I did half of it. The other half was some great leftovers. I think it's good luck or if you rub the pig's belly, or maybe it's Buddha. You rub Buddha's belly and you get good fortune. I don't know. They have Santa Claus here, but they, they'll make him up for the 4th of July, depending on what the season. See there, tax included. That's a simple menu. So anyways... Uh, well, continuing on, uh, yeah, they, there were some of these pamphlets around, <laughs> and uh, it's always um, apropos or important, I guess. So this one, Scream, 
a chick tracks, I think they call them. So I read that. It's like a comic book thing. I'm going to have to turn my life around. Otherwise, it's going to be eternal torment for me. I blame my evil twin for my bad in instincts. But sometimes I'm okay. But anyway, here's H Hotel Chatura. But this was the Hotel Forts and we saw earlier. They have purple accents now. I'm not quite sure. I kind of like that old style, old style look to it with, you know, the brown. But we'll see. Maybe purple works. Uh, here's some flowers. This is a Mexican restaurant. So, yeah, there's some diversity in Dearborn as far as ethnic groups and stuff. And all that's great. They have a statue here for Christopher Columbus, and he discovered America or, and all that kind of good stuff. But I guess he was pretty ruthless, too. The jury's kind of out on him as to whether we should be um, <coughs> doing or um, glorifying what he was all about. I guess he was pretty brutal, but anyways. That's not for me to decide, I guess. That was before my time. I got to walk back to City Hall back yonder, but... Um, this is up on the uh, train tracks. They might have to do some infrastructure. Some of this is crumbling a little bit. But I was running out of tape, though. I'm going to just pretty soon just find out that uh, the show will be over. Oh, no, I think I got about three more minutes. Um, but a bunch of quick short shots. This was a hamburger place. Oh, don't need to get run over by a bus. But now it's part of a dentist office. It's like the waiting room. Here's that Schaefer building again. And look at these nice little details and styling accents on the building. They just don't do that anymore. I mean, back in the day, they would spend the extra money. But now it's like, well, it's not in the budget. We can't do that. So it's nice to see uh, good architecture being preserved. All right. Well, the City Hall Artist Loft. So... They're talking about that. I'm not sure exactly how this whole pocket park is going to work through here. This is the back side of the city hall. And then I did, Allied War Veterans Memorial, but that needs to be dusted up a little bit. Here's a nice mural on Schaefer just south of Michigan Avenue, Rouge River Rebirth. And the mayor talked about really fixing up the, um, the Rouge River, which would be great. Um, and then, yeah, I had to get gas and doing that. And again, the hazy sunshine and getting near the top of the hour. There's my hanging flower basket. Marty's pretty stoic. He's just checking things out here. Um, it's time to drink from the cup for sure. And then we have a diversity puzzle, which... I think we should all kind of take a look at that. Anyways, ran out of the tape, so that's it. It's a short show this go around. But, folks, um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day or evening or weekend or whatever the case may be. Take care and hopefully something new next week. Good night.